We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, doing a full transition here from the rip area of bright green bars to the dip area in today's volatility. And within today's volatility, our SPY bot at 7.30 a.m. sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside, Pure weakness there on 42 vision and put options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys. And as you see there pop you up within the screen, within the options chain, some options even went higher than that. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy doing a full transition on the 30 minute charts and we're going to talk about what key levels to watch here going into next week but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home run of the day was from our amd bot our AMD bot sent out a bear indicator at 9.30 a.m. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision. And put options went up 200% plus within hours, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators. Getting connected over to our bots. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index. As I stated earlier in the video, doing a full transition here from the rip area to the dip area in today's volatility on 42 vision. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with the spy under a bear indicator here on the 30 minute after canceling the bull indicator in the pre-market here at around 412.50 it bounced up back towards 414 a key resistance level throughout this week rejected off of it started the transitions down and at the opening bell the outflows crossed over here on the 30 minute bear indicator popped up around 413.25 and a full transition from the rip area to the dip area is what happened today now in the second half of the day these inflows are trying to pick back up here they're really close to the midpoint and we need to talk about the key levels to watch going into monday but this right here is what happened in today's volatility and if we zoom in and look at this from the 15 minute we could see that bear indicator that popped up right there after the opening bell the outflows had crossed over and a full transition as well from the rip area to the dip area right multiple white referred borders back to back no sign of trying to reverse back up and the bear indicator dominating over the chart for most of the day until the second half here of a pop that was not strong enough 
to eat away at the full downturn even though the inflow started to pick up and things slowed down here around 411 now interesting enough that 410 area continues to be a fighting zone here where the bulls try to reappear and we're going to break that down in today's video but i wanted to zoom in so you guys could see what was going on in today's volatility and a bear indicator here is currently dominating over the chart on the 30 minute even though these inflows are trying to pick back up now when you zoom out and look at this from the one hour we could see here that the outflows began at the opening bell as well they were red they crossed over and a bear indicator popped up around 4.12.74, canceling that bull indicator from earlier on in the pre-market and actually going ahead and doing a full transition from the rip area to the dip area here on the one hour with the outflows now down here at negative 3.39. And if there's going to be any strength here in this move so far, these inflows would need to switch from red to green and push back up towards the midpoint and eventually cancel out this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator in the process guys right now outflows on the bigger picture are dominating even though it slightly has leveled off and it's trying to come back up to justify this move and any further strength these inflows need to start heading towards the midpoint with some type of strength within the price action right and within the volatility to eventually cancel out this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator there on the one hour chart and the 30 minute is trying to come back up now what are the key levels i would watch going into monday well the first thing is on the 15 minute the outflows are now no longer dominating and the inflows are dominating back up with strength here at inflows of 1.00 and then also we have a bull indicator here at around 410.35 something to not ignore we want this staircase effect to continue and for that strength to continue to reflect into the charts with inflows picking up even higher maintaining this bear indicator canceled and full strength there in the charts and if that strength can roll over and continue into the 30 minute we want to see these inflows cross over and go ahead and pass on through that midpoint this is going to be crucial and critical this is probably the most important thing going into monday I would not keep my eyes off of these inflows trying to cross over. It is going to be critical and crucial for any further strength and staircase effect to form here and eventually cancel out this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator and start reflecting from red to green and pushing up here on the one hour and continuing the transitions up from white with red borders to red with green borders, dark green and bright green as you see here and a possible bull indicator in the process to cancel out this bear indicator but we need to see that strength on the 15 minute on the 30 minute and the strength within the 30 minute to roll over into the one hour but this right here is going to be crucial and critical as these inflows are really close here to the midpoint on the 30 minute and if they do cross it could start to reflect pretty quickly that strength into the charts as it crosses over and possibly canceling out that bear indicator there at around the 413 24 area so that is going to be crucial going into monday that these inflows continue strong here on the 15 minute pushing up higher as they're back above with that bull indicator continuing that staircase effect and then on the 30 minute rolling over that strength finally getting these inflows to cross over they are super close here because if it crosses downwards it could go ahead and reflect that strength of weakness to the downside pretty quickly as outflows continue to dominate so what is the first key level i would watch well it's support guys 410 has been a strong support in the history of this chart multiple times we've talked about it 410 is a crucial support level and then below that if these outflows were to continue downwards it would then be 408 if that strength of weakness to the downside starts to reflect pretty quickly guys and then below 408 i'll be watching the 405 to 408 area now to the upside it's going to be crucial and critical here for these inflows to cross back over continue strong here on the 15 minute and start to bring those inflows up on the one hour towards the midpoint reflecting that strength into the charts and canceling out these bear indicators 
with possible bull indicators in the process and continuing the staircase effect and the first resistance is 412 then above that is 414 and then comes the 415 area and if that gets broken through we'll have to reassess and see what's going on once those inflows are over and those tested resistance levels are broken through guys as always guys these are the key levels i'm watching to the upside and to the downside i'm going to watch the bull and bear indicators very carefully in the inflow versus outflow specifically the 15 minute as it's currently above and the 30 minute is going to be critical and crucial as it's right there near the midpoint for the bulls to try to gain some strength if it crosses over and starts to roll over that strength into the one hour or if these outflows start to pull back down reflecting the weakness into the charts and going ahead and pulling down the 15 minute with it and canceling out this bull indicator and it's going to be crucial to watch those key support levels as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.